Yo everybody, this is Rocky the Great, aka The Toy Bookie, and today we are going to be talking about my diorama dojo. My dojo diorama. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it, and you're kind of the reason why I'm making this video. So I made a diorama of a dojo recently to fit 1 12th scale, aka 6 inch figures. And everyone was telling me, you know, how could you, okay, hold on, my freaking arm is getting tired. And everyone was asking me, can you make me one? Uh, how did you make it? You know, they've been seeing my, my tutorial dioramas on here, and sadly, I did not film it while I was building it, but I will be going over it and telling you guys everything I did. So basically, if you have diorama basics down, you will be able to make your own diorama like this, and you can kind of deconstruct it and take it back and then remake it yourself. So. Uh, this is going to be a fun video where I show off my diorama and tell you guys where and how and what the diorama. And give you guys a little bit of tips and where I got parts for the diorama and all that stuff. So let's get right to it. Let's check it out. So here's my 112 scale diorama. As you can see, that's the figure arts Bruce Lee figure. And that is the articulated icons. Uh, I think that's uh, like a kit bash. That's not the original guy. But I made all this. The banners on the side right here, that is printed out paper with construction paper on the back. And then like I, I like crinkled it up a little bit to make it look like it's not just flat on the wall. This pink basket I got at the dollar store. And I saw this and I said, that looks like the windows in a dojo. So I cut out two of them and that is actually what those windows are made out of in the dojo which is very cool just a dollar store thing I cut them out spray painted them put them back up there and then the floor I found the rest of the mat is actually a mat from Walmart this is <laughs> the tag is still on here I believe this was like one something or like two dollars so I still have more of the mat in case I want to make another little dojo. There we go, perfect. Oh, I love this diorama. This diorama is so cool. I, I, I've just been playing with it since I made it, like two days ago. Okay, let's get into the little cool things. Uh, this I found at the flea market. It's just a little... I know I'm mixing Asian cultures all in one diorama because it's versatile. I want to use it for all different types of, you know, a Asian... Isk, Asian isk, uh, stuff. I just thought it looked cool putting it there. And then this is, I got like a new technique down. I'm sure other people have done it, but it's new for me. Uh, I cut that skinny thin foam, right? Hold on, it's not focusing. Okay, so this is that dollar store foam again. But if you could see, it doesn't feel like foam. It's actually hard like plastic. And this is a thing where I've been. I mix the paints with Mod Podge now. When I just do any painting, I mix it with Mod Podge and it gives it like a hard plastic feel. And once this thing cures, it takes like a while actually to cure. It dries in 20 minutes, but to cure, uh, it, it, it takes a while, but then it turns into like plastic. So I'm actually really happy with how these came out. This is basically a plastic table made out of foam, dollar store foam, with crazy glue. So right here is using that same technique of the chair. I made a little sword holder. Again, this is dollar store foam and it feels like plastic. It feels like high quality like plastic. I will not buy any more props. I'm gonna make everything from now on. So this is very cool. You put your sword on it. I need to put a smaller sword on the bottom, but you get the idea. Very cool again. Look at that. So this is one of my favorite features. Uh, again, dollar store foam with the Mod Podge, so it's hard. Look, that's not, that doesn't sound like foam. So I love this part. Hold on, put that up here. Beautiful. And then we got another stick. Of course. <laughs> so I'm trying to film and do this. It's not the easiest. Okay, here we go. And then here we go. Boom, look at that, look at that. Every angle looks like a picture for me. I am so in love with this piece. The The background and the floor are big. This is insulation foam, the walls. The two walls are pink or blue insulation foam, the ones you get at, you know, the thick ones. I think it's one inch. 
You get those at Lowe's and Home Depot. And then my new thing is this bottom foam is from, it's a skinnier, it's like, I think it might be a half inch. It's not skinny skinny like the dollar store foam, but it's not big like the Lowe's foam. This is Hobby Lobby foam, the bottom. It's, it's a nice like half inch and it's super hard and dense and thick. It's great for floors. I have it as pavement. It looks just like pavement for like city street dioramas. You don't even have to paint it. And I create, I, um, not crazy, I always call it crazy glue. I hot glue all my items. A lot of people put magnets in their dioramas. Uh, that seems like too much work for me. I know it. it's better because you could hide the dioramas and take it apart and put it away in a small area. Like this is gonna take up this area forever, but it's just the way I go. I, I never do this, but I kind of rounded out the foam by putting the skinny, that skinny dollar store foam again all around it to kind of finish it off and give it that like, usually my stuff, it would be like pink on the side right here because when you're taking pictures, you're not going to show that part of the diorama, but I just wanted to, like this looks like I want to keep this on this table in my, my little office right here. So this is my favorite part now. Uh, you know what, we'll take it apart, okay. Let me zoom in, because this is my fa by far my favorite thing I made, and my most ambitious thing out of dollar store foam so far that I made. I swear, once you get the hang of it, you're gonna not not make it things like I'm just gonna make everything from now on. Okay, I made a, a samurai armor stand. I looked up what they look like. They usually have like a drawer right here. It almost looks like it could be a drawer. I didn't do too many coats because it doesn't really matter, it's gonna be covered. But I also just in case I wanted to show them like doing like this is supposed to look like a foam piece up on the top, which it is a foam piece, uh, you know, to rest their head part on it. Then this is supposed to look like wood. This is actually all dollar store foam, the whole thing. Oh, this is dollar store foam and then the, that's the uh, Lowe's foam, the one inch foam and then dollar store foam. And then this is a wooden dowel stick in the middle. I could have used foam for that too, but I just thought it would be easier and I just stuck it down into all the things and then again hot glue for everything. Hot glue is my savior. So we'll put it back together and it's Mod Podge sealed so it's very hard and, and you don't feel like you're going to break it. Look at that. I love, I love this piece. It's so cool. Look at that man. Just look at that. Dollar store made. Cool. And then you just put, you know, the pieces here and everything. So thank you guys for watching. Very cool diorama. I'm gonna go take some more pictures of this. I just wanted to share this with the few people who were uh, DMing me about making them a diorama on Instagram, or they wanted to see more in depth of my diorama. So hopefully, this answered all your questions. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Uh, the channel has been growing. Uh, I think we grew like a hundred subscribers in the last few weeks. Very cool. Uh, I'm posting regularly now. Lots of cool dioramas and tutorials and everything. This is going to be just a fun toy channel. So do jump on now because at the rate it's going, I'm very excited to see where this will go. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, always Instagram, the toy bookie, the toy bookie. And at Rock with the Great is my art page, my main art page. Just check everything out. Always links down below. Thank you guys for watching. Go make a diorama yourself, and we're out of here. Peace. to be talking about oh I oh my camera lens is broken that's not good